Hello everybody and welcome back to another Compass Box Studio video. Uh, today actually I want to answer a question I've had for a really really long time uh, and it's a question I'm sure most of you guys as engineers or producers or musicians also have is that how much of a difference does gear really make? Now, when the studio started off, uh, we actually used a Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40 along with an Octa Pre Mark II. And these were fairly, you know, budget, uh, I mean, not fairly budget, they're actually like a budget range, uh, you know, interface for a studio, uh, up to 16 channels of mic pre so we can track, you know, full band live. And, you know, it served us really, really well. We did uh, most of our recordings that got us to where we are right now as one of the you know top studios in India, winning a bunch of awards. So all that content that won those awards or were nominated for different things were all made in this studio with that gear. Of course, the mic pre and the interface, the ADDA conversion, all of that is one part of the signal chain when it comes to recording something. The other crucial part is the microphone itself. As the years went by, I, you know, slowly upgraded the microphones first because that's an easy investment for a studio rather than going straight for a much more expensive mic pre or a new interface. Uh, microphones were, were the first major upgrade at the studio. So the, the very first like proper professional mic I got was the Blue Blueberry. And for me, that was a huge step up from the MXL 770 that we were using before. I really wanted to get outboard mic pre's for the first time. So I got the best of the best, the Neve 1073, the API 312, uh, the R&D 511. I mean, the Focusrite Red one, uh, the SSL VHD. These are like some of the best mic pre's in the world. So for today, we've actually got three different vocal chains at three different price points to really isolate the, the budget to performance quotient as best as our ability right now. Instead of using the same mic on different interfaces or different mics on the same interface, I thought it would be great to make three different vocal chains based on budget. So starting off at level one, which is the cheapest budget line, I've gone with the Samsung C01 Studio Condenser, which is the cheapest condenser mic that I have at the studio. In fact, this is a mic that belongs as part of the Samson drum mic kit that I got for the studio earlier on. It's a large diaphragm mic, uh, surprisingly good for its price point. So this is about 5,800 rupees, uh, you know, uh, in India right now. Um, it's one of the cheapest, good quality condenser mics I think that you can get for the money right now. So yeah, the venerable Samson C01. Now I decided to pair the C01 with this. This is the Vault i22, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's it's like a Focusrite 2i2, uh, which basically it has two inputs as well as two outputs, runs on USB uh, 2.0. It's a fairly standard, super entry level uh, interface. Uh, it's got decent amount of gain uh, on it. Uh, it has high Z inputs as well as Phantom. It's, uh, I mean, there's not really much to talk about it. It's, it's a fairly standard, you know, run of the mill interface. The ADD is not the best in the world. The preamps are not the cleanest in the world, but uh, you know, it does its job surprisingly well. The Vault comes for around 7,000 Indian rupees. So, you know, 7,000 plus uh, 5,800 is what you're looking at as the level one vocal chain. Now for level two or the mid tier budget, I decided to go with the warm audio WA-47JR. This is a really, really great sounding mic. Uh, you know, I got one um, a couple of years ago and then immediately got another one because it's such a good all-rounder mic. It's a it's a FET condenser mic, which means we use this quite a lot for kick out mics. It's, it's super thumpy, fast transients. It's got three polar patterns as well. So it's got cardioid, bidirectional and omni, uh, which is super useful. It has a pad and it has a, a low cut at 70 Hertz. This retails for about 30,000 Indian rupees. So uh, just this mic itself is more expensive than both the mic and the interface for the level one. The interface that that's paired with is the amazing Audient ID4 Mark II. I've said a lot of great things about Audient, uh, both as a company and in terms of the products they make. Um, this is a class leading sort of, you know, mid-tier um, interface. It's got great ADDA conversion. Like in fact, it's known for its ADDA conversion, uh, as well as those preamps. Those preamps are derived directly from their larger console. So you've got like console level preamps in a box that's about this small. Now, a couple of differences to note. Unlike the entry level vault, which is a true two input, two output. This is like a one and a half input for lack of a better word. It is fundamentally two input, but one input is a combi XLR TRS and the other one is a dedicated DI for guitars and for 
a base. This retails for about 15,000 Indian rupees. 15,000 rupees is the interface, 30,000 rupees is the mic. Um, that's your level two studio vocal chain. Now for the level three, which is the pro level studio vocal chain budget thingy, um, I've gone with the Neumann TLM 49. The TLM 49 is a great, great microphone. Uh, it uses the same capsule found on the U47 uh, and I believe the U67 as well. Um, and it, it's basically got a, a transformerless design and I decided to pair that mic with something really, really special. So the mic is going into the Cranbourne Audio um, ADAT 500 and specifically into the AMS Neve 1073 LB. It's known for its great transformer based color. You can really push it quite a bit. It's got a lot of gain on tap and that goes into the Universal Audio Apollo X8B. So just to give you an idea of what the budget of level three looks like, the, the TLM 49 is around 1.6 lakhs. Um, the Cranbourne Audio uh, ADAT 500 is around 1.4, 1.5 lakhs. Um, the Universal Audio X8P is three and a half lakhs and the Neve 1073 is one lakh for one single mic break. Like you can't really get any better than this. I mean, uh, I've chosen not to use any outboard gear or any processing within the UAD interface, such as adding EQ or compression. I just wanted the sound of the mic pre's into the ADD and the interface into the computer. And for today specifically, we're doing a vocal demo. We've got two different vocalists with two distinctive vocal styles to try to see if that matters in the comparison at all. So our two singers for today are Akshita and Shering. Uh, they're amazing singers, um, you know, based in Ahmedabad. If you guys are looking for a session musician uh, and a female backing vocalist for your song, please get in touch with us. Uh, they are really, really good. Now, a couple of technical notes when it comes to this particular comparison. The way we've kind of designed it is that all three mics are placed in close proximity, all phase aligned. Um, the way we've kind of done it is like this triangle effect where you've got three different diaphragms in a triangle and the singer is singing directly in the middle. This way we can get the most consistent performance and really only worry about the variable that's changing, which is the mic in combination with the mic pre. We could have done different takes for everything, but then the performance difference also adds a variable into the, the way you would perceive if something sounds better or not. So I wanted this to be as clean as possible. It's not the most scientific method uh, about doing it, but I feel this is the closest we can get. Now, when it comes to the gain staging of these multiple mic pre's and the way it uh, interacts with the mic, uh, on the door, I've kind of got all of them to around negative 14 to negative 12. And this way I'm getting the best noise floor and the best color from the mic pre's in combination to give you a good solid sound. Now, I haven't listened to the results personally myself, so I'm going to be sharing the examples to you, but I'm going to be sharing them as examples A, B and C for both the singers. Uh, the reason I want to do this is because I really want you to rely only on your ears. I want you guys to comment, tell me what you think sounds the best. Why do you think it sounds the best? Like always, if you like the videos that we're putting out and you think these sort of like tutorials and uh, comparisons are interesting, please do subscribe to us, do like and comment on our videos. It really helps out a lot. We're a small little studio based in Ahmedabad and any sort of support you guys can give uh, really means a lot. In addition, if you want to support what the work that we're doing, we have a small thanks button which you can click and you know give us a thanks of what a five dollars ten dollars whatever you think is reasonable uh, based on the work that we're doing it really helps us to you know fund these and you know get the right editors and the videographers to come in and do all the work so without delaying this any further here are the examples of the two vocalists i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time a dream is a wish your heart may
will come true. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep and dreams you will lose your heart aches whatever you wish for you keep have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep and dreams you will lose your heart aches whatever you wish for you keep have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep and dreams you will lose your heart aches whatever for you keep have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true you shut me down you like the control you speak to me like I'm a child I try to hold it down, I know the answer I try to shake it off, but you feel threatened by me I try to play it nice, but oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, don't kill my wife Oh, 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 don't break my strength.
tried You think it's so important to me, don't you? I wanted you to know you don't belong here Think it's so important to me, don't you? Don't kill my way You shut me down, you like the control You speak to me like I'm a child I try to hold it down, I know the answer I try to shake it off, but you feel threatened by me I try to play it nice, but oh, 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 don't kill my wife. Oh, 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 don't break my stride. You think it's so important to me, don't you? I wanted you to know you don't belong here. Think it's so important to me, don't you? Don't kill my wife. You shut me down, you like the control You speak to me like I'm a child I try to hold it down, I know the answer I try to shake it off, but you feel threatened by me I try to play it nice, but oh, 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 don't kill my wife. Oh, 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 don't break my stride. You think it's so important to me, don't you? I wanted you to know you don't belong here. Think it's so important to me, don't you? Don't kill my wife. You shut me down, you like the control You speak to me like I'm a child I try to hold it down, I know the answer I try to shake it off, but you feel threatened by me I try to play it nice, but oh, 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 don't kill my wife. Oh, 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 don't break my stride. You think it's so important to me, don't you? I wanted you to know you don't belong here. Think it's so important to me, don't you? Don't kill.